Underground cable has many advantages if we compare it with the overhead lines. But what do a uh, underground cable needs or what are the constructional features that are required by a underground cable and what is 3 core cable, what is 3.5 core cable in case of underground cable. If you want to get the answers, watch the video. Before getting to the practical world, a bit of theory needed, isn't it? So we'll see what strength needed. You are going to lay a cable underground. That means you are going to lay the cable in between soil, in between rocks, in between water and everything else. So what strength do your cable need so that it can sustain all the loads or all the stresses that is going to be there. So we'll see one by one. First, it needs a weatherproof coating, right? Because it, it should be withstanding all the weather. Next is mechanical and tensile strength. This is very, very important. A bit of extra insulation, right? And next is core insulation. You, you, your core should be insulated. If they are not insulated, then boom, it will be short circuit. Okay, so core should be insulated. So if you have these four things, my friends, then you're ready to lay your cable underground. Now I'll show you the image of a you know 3.5 core cable so that it will be clear to you guys. So what do we need first? First we need a weatherproof coating. So this is your weatherproof coating. Next we need steel armor. Steel armor provide you the mechanical and tensile strength. This is the steel armor. It is made up of steel. We are going to see these everything practically also. Next we need a bit of extra insulation. Here you can see under the uh, you know. Uh, steel armor there is a extra insulation so that it will be uh, safe next is core insulation these are the core r y and b and this is nothing but your conductors bundled conductor so this cable is you know with the steel armor so that is why it is called as 3.5 core armored cable now what is this 3.5 core what is this 0.45 core is used for we are going to answer this question very soon. Here you can see a core that is, you know, half of if we compare it with the other core. We are going to see in few minutes. Now I will take you to the practical world and we will check whether the theoretical construction is similar with the practical construction or not. So this is your 3.5 core armored cable. Here you can see uh, we have uh, R phase, Y phase and B phase with the neutral. And this is your uh, a bit of extra insulation above the cores. This is your steel armor, and this is the weatherproof coating. Uh, you can see the above uh, above the steel armor. So this is the copper cable actually copper. And here we can conclude that theoretical construction is similar with the practical construction, right? One question is still remains: What is 3.5 core cable? And what is 3 core cable? Why this little core is used uh, with these 3 core cables? Okay, so we will answer it. Let us say you are having a 3 phase system and all the phases carrying equal amount of current. Here you can see 20 ampere, 20 ampere and 20 ampere. So this system is perfectly balanced, right? And you are not having any kind of out of phase current. So at this time, if you use a 3 core cable, uh, it would be sufficient, right? Like uh, for example, uh, an induction motor, you only provide a three phase supply to the induction motor, right? You don't provide any extra cable to it. Okay, so this is your balance system. But what if your system is not balanced? For example, say your phases are carrying different amount of current, like phase one is carrying 10 ampere, phase two is carrying 50 ampere, and phase three is carrying 20 ampere. At this time, if you use a three core cable, then it would not be sufficient because there is a a bit of extra current that is out of phase current flowing through the system and to carry that extra current you will need a extra conductor right and for that purpose a extra conductor is provided with the three core cable and that cable is called as your 3.5 core cable now why 0.5 because as compared with the other cable or other core it is half of half in the size if we compare it with the other core and that little core is called as neutral right and neutral point you know half neutral is sufficient for the medium voltage system 
and uh, so that you can use it i'll show you one more time so that it you will be confirmed that the core is half of as compared with the other core so here you can see these are your three cores and if we compare it this the little core it is you know half in the size uh, as compared to the other core so i hope you guys like the video you can watch more interesting stuff right here on my channel and if you think uh, this video is uh, this video helped you please share it with your friends so that it will helpful for them also and subscribe to get the next update we post a new video each week so thank you for watching keep watching keep learning